Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing another part of my little series that I've been doing, like my top five, whatever, kind of from each category. So today's category, as you can tell from the title, is blush. So I picked out my top five and then I've got like a little palette that I think is good to talk about. That's basically what today's video is going to be. I'm going to show you them, swatch them, and tell you why I like them, and talk about the formula and stuff like that. And yeah, these are just blushes that I recommend and that work for me really well. So if there are some here that you don't like or that don't work for you, I'm sorry. There is a theme going on here. I do kind of have orangey and nude toned blushes. They're just the kind of blushes that I personally like to wear. I don't like bright pink ones or red or purpley toned blushes. I'm just not a big fan of those. I prefer more kind of nudes and warm oranges. That being said, as always, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and just keep watching. Okay, so I'm not going to go in any particular order. I'm just going to tell you all my favourites. So I picked five of my favourite blushes. These are high-end and drugstore. first one I am going to talk about is the MAC Peaches blush. This has been one of my favourite blushes, if not my favourite for about like five years like this is really odd i love this blush so much it's literally just like the name it's the perfect peach blush it's one of their kind of sheer tone blushes and i feel like they have like a slight sheen to them they're really really creamy and really really buildable as well they're not too pigmented so when you apply it onto the skin it's not going to just pack on a punch and you're gonna look like a clown. It is very buildable in that sense and it's not too pigmented which is also why I love it so much. Really nice blush for quite a lot of skin tones because obviously it's on the warmer side obviously like all of these blushes are but it's just got a nice pink undertone to it but it's still quite nude and peachy that I feel like it'll look really nice on deeper skin tones even but also fair skin like I've had friends that have tried this blush before and they are a lot fairer than I am and they love it so this one is a literally the most affordable blush I own it's this guy right here this is the essence satin touch blush and it's in the shade satin bronze which is number 30 this I can't find it anywhere so I don't know if I'll be able to get it off Amazon or something but Obviously my lid has broken off this, but if you don't already know about Essence as a brand, they are a very, very, very affordable brand. This is, I don't know, I've always had a trouble choosing between these two right here. I feel like, I don't know, I, I, I feel like I like the undertone of satin bronze a lot more because it's a lot deeper and warmer. And I feel like that just suits my skin tone a lot better. This is... Like I said, it's one pound and it's incredible. The formula for these are really, really good. I can't really speak for any of the Essence blushes because I don't tend to try them ones because I'm so stuck on these. I love these ones so much. They also have matte ones. I aren't a fan of like a satin sheen kind of finish. They have matte ones as well, but just like Peaches, they're soft touch formula. They are very, very creamy. I do find that these are quite pigmented, pigmented though, so I feel like you do have to give your brush a little tap to just get the excess off before you apply it but again this probably is my favorite blush. I don't know I'm I can't I can't say it is my favorite because I just love all of these so much but yeah it's a really really nice one and I feel like for being one pound and being so affordable it lasts on the skin very well as well these blushes do for me personally I know that blush is probably like the apart from like lipstick and stuff I feel like blush comes off the easiest out of all face products is I feel like it's gonna be no surprise to anyone that's been watching my channel more recently what can I say this is the Too Faced Sweethearts blush in the shade sparkling Bellini I, I just can't like I just can't with this it's so nice it's pricey because it's Too Faced of course I think these are like 25 pound each which is ridiculous for a blush but it is so nice that I don't even care I would pay 25 pound for one of these again like an orangey kind of peach it's got like a three stripes kind of going down and they're all different shades the top one is like a orangey obviously they're all got a nice sheen so then the middle one is more of a peachy pink I'd say and then the bottom one is like a deep it's not that deep but it's more like a a rosy pink kind of color the bottom stripe here it kind of reminds me of luminoso by milani that's what that bottom like the largest stripe reminds me of but what i usually do is i just mix my brush into all of these and apply them on the skin like that 
because it just all of the mix just gives a really really nice color it's like not too nude not too pink not too orange either Sometimes if I obviously do want my favorite shade which is the one right on the top I'd obviously just concentrate my brush into that section but if they came out with this top bit as just a single blush I'll be happy with that because I love that I'm obsessed with it but yeah, like I said I just mix my brush in all of it and these also last forever on the skin and I also love wearing this blush when I don't really want to wear highlight because I feel like it gives a nice glow not too much but a nice natural glow and it just looks like you're not wearing a highlight also I can't remember if I mentioned this in a video before but um, revolution slash I heart makeup okay so I won't call them dupes I'd say that they try to copy the whole idea of them because they are literally heart blushes in cardboard the ones that revolution have I have tried them before and I didn't like them I found that they were too pigmented they were too glittery as well like there's no glitter in this it just gives a really nice sheen they were glitter and I didn't think that they lasted very long on the skin and the colors just weren't as nice as these so obviously they are more than a, like they are more than half the price of these Too Faced ones, but I just don't think they're as good. So if any of you guys out there was like wondering if they are dupes for these, I have tried them and I don't think they are at all. I feel like you just can't can't top these ones. I'll tell you that. Fourth favorite of mine is the NYX Bakes Blush, and this one is in the shade Ignite Slash Passion. I never know what it's called because it says both of them so it's ignite slash passion this blush is one of my favorites because obviously it's a baked blush and it just reminds me the most of Milani's baked blushes as well it has a really really nice sheen to it and I just love the the, um, the baked formula I think it's really really nice they give the most nice glow ever these like you can just see it and yeah this is my favorite orange blush just of all time it's I feel like this is my favorite because Milani don't have an orange baked blush I mean I don't know if they do but on the Beauty Bay website which is where I tend to buy Milani from I feel like there isn't I can't find a orange baked blush by them but I do prefer their formula but we have this but yeah I don't really know what else to say about this because it's just so nice I've worn this on I think my past two birthdays I think I've worn this I've loved this for literally about two years um, and I just I remember buying it two years ago when I just needed a orange really nice orange blush for my birthday I wanted it to go with my eyeshadow and stuff and I saw this in boots and I was like yeah that's the one you know when you just see it and you just know this was the one for me and I've loved it ever since I do hate the packaging though I think that it's just unnecessarily bulky and it doesn't need to be like yeah it's cute it's in a little box it's got a little bow and it's just there's a lot of wasted space here and I just don't understand the need for it but apart from that the actual blush I love it I'm obsessed with it then the final blush is a blush palette well I've got another blush palette but this is like a favorite so this is the Laura Geller Hollywood blushing baked trio I'm only going to talk about one shade in here because it's my favorite it's the shade here which is called honeysuckle this is one of the nicest blushes in the entire universe like it doesn't look like it'd be it just looks like a bit gross not gonna lie in the pan like it just is brown and pink and looking at it you don't think it's gonna be that nice but when you mix them together it just makes like a nude kind of like the essence one and it's got a sheen to it a really really nice glow and a nice sheen which kind of reminds me of the Too Faced ones and it's just really nice 100% one of my favorite uh, blushes I know I've talked about this on my channel before I've definitely had it in a favorites video but yeah I think the whole palette is a good idea as well because they're all quite smaller it's really compact for traveling like this is a package friendly kind of situation going on here like it's got a mirror in it which isn't too bad and it's got three small blushes and it's not bulky so this is good packaging this isn't FYI uh, so nice I just I never bought the um, honeysuckle blush on its own purely because it's always out of stock and I can never get my hands on it so I just ended up getting this because I was just dying to try this color when I saw it on the website so last also forever on the skin I just I love it it literally looks like you've got highlight on just kind of like the Too Faced ones and I'd come home after a long day and I'd still see this guy sitting up on my cheeks 
and it's just bomb. So. so that is it for my top five blushes. I did, however, just want to add in another palette because I think it's really good for your money and it's this guy here that has starred on my channel a few times. It's the NYX Sweet Cheeks Blush Palette and yeah, but that's what it's called. That's the name of it. Uh, I feel like everyone's already seen this because it is quite an old palette, but I just think this is really, really good for its money because it's got so many different blushes in here for different skin tones and they have different finishes as well. You have mattes and then you have satins as well. And I feel like these two here, which are like shimmery, not like shimmer, like glitter shimmery, but they have sheens. These I, I tend to use as blush toppers, but use them however you want as highlights if you even wanted to but I don't know I just think this is a really good palette that's worth your money because the formula is really really good on these they are different to the baked ones I will say that I do prefer the baked ones but these are really good like with the palette situation going on I know that this kind of looks like one of the NARS palettes I've never tried their blushes so I can't like compare them and tell you that they're a straight up dupe for them I don't know but yeah I think there's a good color selection here this shade here not gonna lie, never touched it, never will. Like, this is the kind of blush I would never wear. I do prefer the baked formula to these ones because I feel like the baked blushes last longer on the skin than these ones. I don't know if that's just me, but that's what I think. Anyway, these, like these two right here, they're the ones for me. Like these two make the whole palette worth it for me. That's all I'll say. If you were to ask me to pick one favorite blush out of these, I honestly couldn't do it. I just, seriously, I just couldn't do it. I love all of these so much. So obviously I highly recommend all of the blushes I've talked about today. If you guys like any of these ones, then be sure to let me know. I love bonding over favorite products. It makes me really happy. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, then just give the video a thumbs up and also make sure that you're subscribed as well. I hope I've informed you on some of these blushes and maybe hopefully you'll be able to try them if you wanted to because I love them. So yeah, thank you again so much for watching. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.